Hello everybody, Chris here from Cuts and Colors. I was asked on Instagram to do a walkthrough and in a way review of the newly released Tarot de Marseille by Francois Gassman, 1840 as you can see here. And this deck is done by Yves Renault from France and I ordered the deck directly from France. It's an exclusive restitution made in collaboration with the Swiss Game Museum. Interesting. And you can see here copyright Yves Renault 2020 comes in a sturdy box as always with the Empress on top and the two of coins on the back. Lovely. It's a limited edition. To be honest, I don't know how many. Let me check. It's 1,500 copies or decks and I got number 102, but I don't know if they are shipped in order. So, here we have our battleur, our juggler, our magician. Let's put him in the center of attention, <laughs> literally. And what you can see here is um, this deck is in a way an unusual Tarot de Marseille. It has some Besançon elements, as we will see as we progress in our walkthrough. Um, the cups, for example, and um, what not. The hanged man is quite special and the devil, but we will get to that soon. And all in all, this is a very colorful, joyful, beautiful deck in a way. The style is a bit naive, but in a good way. Many faces are quite childlike, but also in a good way, in an open and, well, you might say optimistic way. And yeah, when I saw the first pictures of this, um, when Eve said that he was going to release this deck, yes, I was blown away. <laughs> and now I have it in my collection. And yeah, it's a beauty. And you will see while we walk through this deck. So, once again, here we have Le Batteleur, the magician, and the coloring is in a way quite unusual here. We get a lot of this very fresh light green, this linden green or spring green, which I like, and a lot of this sky blue or pale blue, very fresh in combination with the yellow. There is no primary red, but the parts that I guess are supposed to be red are more like this orange tone. We see a lot of details in this deck, for instance here, and at the table and even the legs of the table. And what we get um, is this greenery here or this vegetation um, symbolized by an oak leaf. It reminds me of an oak leaf. So in a way it's the oak leaf deck because we will see this on a lot of cards. So here we have the magician or juggler. Um, the composition in itself is quite quite traditional. The lemnus could hat, wand in hand and knife and whatnot on the table. La Papes, Popes, Papes, High Priestess here, again, with the fresh green, the orange, and then the light blue and the yellow, and some skin color here. And it's quite interesting because sometimes, if you look at this here, for example, the way the color is applied to this face, for example, I'm not sure... <sighs> Usually it would be plates of wood, I guess, with ink or color on them and then pressed onto the card. Or maybe watercolor fill-ins. But here it sometimes looks like crayons. 
or maybe maybe pencils which again underlines the childlike nature of this deck again we see a lot of details here we are not used to see from other older Marseille decks the Empress from the box in her fresh green eagle on her shield and the the staff here, the scepter, is quite interesting with the fleur de lis on top. The emperor is quite interesting with his scepter, very floral, flowery scepter here. And again, we get the oak leaf. The pope, le pape, or hierophant, quite traditional. Le Chariot. Oh, okay. So these are not in order. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for that. Because I um, picked uh, some of the cards for photos I did for Instagram and Facebook. And they will be at the end of the deck, I guess. So we will come to the lover or the lovers later. Le Chariot, the Chariot. Quite traditional. Justice again with the orange and the pale green. The Wheel of Fortune. Interesting here, the waves, how they did the waves with those little triangular shapes. Strength with the pale blue lion and the yellow glowing hat <laughs> interesting effect because I guess the color wasn't applied correctly or well loosely in a way but it makes this hat look like even there's an aura or halo going on number 13 the nameless card or the death card Temperance, very bright with her pale blue wings. And again, this fresh green here with the orange. Again, we could get the oak leaves here. I like the addition here of the yellow touches on the, on the wings, the tower. And interesting here, you can see the shape of the lightning, which you usually don't see. And then very grumpy faces. <laughs> they are not happy. <laughs> the star, quite interesting depiction of the star here. Very floral, flowery. The sun is quite interesting because um, Okay, you, you get a very detailed ground here and the twins or the two, two children here are very detailed and then the sun has hair going on and I don't know, laurel wreath maybe and the sun's rays are in the three primary colors. Le Jugement, the Judgment, interesting because the person on the right here has a hat with a cross on it. Maybe he's a church person here. And the Fool, very childlike again. Lovely, with all the oak leaves <laughs> and even the dog or cat. Chasing the fool. <laughs> he looks quite happy. So before we dive into the minors, I will <laughs> look for the majors that we've missed now because they are interesting. And maybe you are not interested in to looking at the minors. So, 
just a second bear with me please <laughs> so here we are again with the lover or the lovers again classical depiction for a Marseille deck an oak leaf again and look at the face of Eras, Amar, Cupid, and the little crown on his butt. <laughs> Very childlike face. The Hermit in very bright green color. Lovely. An interesting wand is white. Don't know if it's supposed to be white or if this is maybe a mistake from the original. Maybe they forgot to color it in. Then the interesting hanged man, Le Pendu, hanging from both his feet. A very colorful hanged man. And a special diable or devil. Not the stag horns <laughs> that we see on traditional or more traditional or older Marseille decks. And the two imps here, they look different too, like fawns maybe, or little pans. All in all the composition is the same of course. But you get a different feel from this card. It looks in a way a bit more demonic. I don't know if that makes sense. While the older devils from Marseille decks, they mostly resemble, well, the pagan horned god in a way, with the female breasts and the face on the belly, and as mentioned before, the stag's horns. But this one here, he has goat horns. There's an indication of the breasts here in yellow, but it's very furry all in all. Quite interesting. The moon, beautiful, quite powerful moon with the primary colors of red, blue and yellow here. Mirrored through and through and the drops and the rays and the crayfish even. And again, the water here done with this very detailed little triangular shapes and then a very lovely word card with a nice face <laughs> and I love this lion <laughs> isn't this just the cutest face ever <laughs> a smiling lion cross-eyed lion. So, eh, some of the miners are out of order, I'm sorry, but we can manage. <laughs> so here we see the two of wands instead of the ace of wands. <laughs> and as you can see here, the flowers are quite lovely. And the wands are not depicted as we are used to from more traditional or older Marseille decks. So there's not this black thing here at the top and the bottom of the wand, but it's rather delicately designed, the wand. And again, we get this orange with the pale blue and the fresh green and yellow, a very well, spring colored deck, four of wands. So again, the decoration on top, and at the bottom of the wand and then in the middle where the wands cross you just get well a pool of color put on top <laughs> yeah but all in all the colors so here's the green missing we just get the yellow the pale blue and the orange it has in a way the combination of these colors with this with this very present orange it has, in a way, a vintage or retro feel. Of course, it has a vintage feel, being an old Marseille deck from 1840, but maybe more like a 60s or 70s vibe, in a way. 
It may sound weird, but this is what I get from this deck, in a way. And the lovely flower here, minimalistic, a bit Scandinavian in design, I think. The beautiful ace of coins here, very colorful, very decorated. Oh, and a painting mistake, interesting, lovely. Four of coins. Pentacles, beautiful nine of cups. And you can see here that these cups are much rounder, more feminine in a way, like most cups we see on older Marseille decks. And this is quite interesting here because the arrangement, it reminds me in a way of a caduceus of a Hermes staff with the um, with the snakes. Very interesting. Or like the Kundalini. And then, isn't this a wonderful, beautiful two of cups with the heart here, the crowned heart. And then the two beautiful cups, the round cups, showing again the primary colors, red, here is orange, the yellow, and the blue. And then the two fishes here, beautiful, looking at each other in a way. Stunning. Stunning. I like this Two of Cups very much. So, King of Coins here. And you will see that um, many of the court cards feature a lot of dark blue. Quite unusual. The Knight of Deniers or Coins. Interesting. The horse being in a way flesh colored and then the legs are blue, the queen of coins, the page of Valet of coins. So I guess now we are back in order, sorry. The ace of wands, a very lush ace of wands, again with the lovely pale spring green. A lot going on here. And even the cloud is colorful. And as we already saw the two of wands, now here's the three of wands. And we already saw the four, so now here's the five and the six. Lovely here. The decoration going on. The seven of wands. The eight of wands. Nine of wands. Ten of Wands, again, interesting things going on here. Page of Wands, or Valet de Baton, and as you can see, a lot of dark blue going on here, quite distinctive, a lot of pale blue, a lot of orange, <laughs> and Le Roi, or the King, Colorful. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Very detailed, very colorful. Two of Swords with the lovely flower in the middle. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. And what you can see here is um, you just you don't get just this blades in a way the curved blades that you mostly see in traditional or older Marseille decks, but you also get the hills. And the hills are also correctly depicted, um, and they are interchanged, which means, for example, here you get the two hills on top following the blade, and here the inner swords are um, painted with hills and you can see here the blades 
quite lovely. Five, six, seven. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> I have noticed that before because here the middle sort is left uh, is yellow on top and then orangey red the rest of the sort i guess <laughs> this wasn't done intentionally <laughs> but in a way this looks like the sort is glowing <laughs> like it's coming directly from the blacksmith or still is in the progress or the process of cooling it down that's quite interesting don't burn your fingers. Eight of thoughts, and again, you can see here, hilt blade, hilt blade, inter interwoven beautifully. Nine of swords, the ten of swords. The page, again, with oak leaves, and yeah, a lot of decorative stuff here everywhere that you usually don't get with older decks or not as much. La Reine, Le Roi. And then here we get the very, very well decadent in a way Ace of Cups. I'm not sure. Okay, this looks to be like no, oh, what's it called? I don't know. Man, what's it called? Mm, a veil. It's not the right word. I guess you know what I mean. <laughs> so this is put on a stage in a way, but then there's also greenery and growth. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. So it's interesting that the cups are very much reminiscent of the Besançon decks. Though we don't get Juno and Jupiter replacing um, the Popes and the Pope or the High Priestess and the Hierophant. Maybe it's some kind of a mix thing going on here. The Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Five, Six, Seven, Eight, the Nine, we already saw that, and then the Ten. No flower, cross, or coin here in the tenth cup. Interesting. And as you can see here, the page, lovely, with a lot of details going on. A bit folkloristic in a way, Slavic even looking. Um, as you can see, the arrangement of the pips is 100% Marseille. No change here in the arrangement of anything. So, the two of coins. Fabriqué par Gasman, Cartier à Genève, Switzerland. The three of coins. We already had the four of coins, and now here's the five of coins. There is a slight different thing going on here with the coins I noticed because here this is more well decoration a decorative style like an like architecture or something going on um, and not really resembling leaves or greenery or plants so this is in a way different though the all-in-all -all image is true to the Marseille tradition of course Seven. Okay, here it resembles leaves and blossoms. The eight, but here then again in the nine, it's a bit more decorative. And then the ten, five plus five, as we are used to. Last but not least, the back is quite interesting because, as far as I'm aware, I owe a three, well in a way four, <laughs> Yves no decks at the moment, um, the Conva, um, the Madenier, which I love, <laughs> the faces in the Madenier, wow, just, just, just beautiful. 
maybe I will do a walkthrough of the Pierre Madenier deck if you want to. <laughs> you can comment below if you want me to do a walkthrough of the Madenier. And what I also could imagine doing is a comparison video of um, this deck, the Gasman, the classic Conva, and then the Pierre Madenier. That could be interesting too, but it would be quite a long video, I guess. So I wanted to keep things short here. And as this deck, the Gasman, is quite a new deck out there. <laughs> By the way, it's not a mass market production, so if you want to get this very, very beautiful deck, you have to order it directly from Yves Reynaud, from his French homepage, which is also um, in English language available, so the order um, process well, is manageable, <laughs> even if you're not a French-speaking person. And yeah, I will link um, Yves' page below if you are interested in the deck. What I wanted to mention is um, that the back of these cards is in a lovely blue with a very interesting wavy dotty <laughs> um, back here and most of the decks of Eve as far as I know this is what I wanted to say are the same color as the front of the cards so an antique white or a creamy color but this deck here it is blue which in a way fits with the playfulness and the naivete and the lovely faces here. So let's end this walkthrough <laughs> with the beautiful world card. My favorite, I have to say, <laughs> because of the cute lion. This was and Yes, is <laughs> the walkthrough and review of Yves Reynaud's Tarot by Francois Gassman, 1840. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and review. And yeah, feel free to leave a comment in the chat box below. I like to talk and discuss Tarot with people. <laughs> and if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'm Cards and Colors there too. See you soon, my friends, and all the best. Bye.